Okay, chicos, welcome back to another YouTube. I'm going to talk to you guys about infected glands, glandulas. Um, so I got a corn snake in my collection. If you guys can guess where the corn snake is, I'll give you 50 bucks. All right, pause the video. If you guessed here, comment that you won 50 bucks. All right, so this is a corn snake. Let, uh, let me show you the corn snake. I got a real situation. So we remove the water. And then we observe. A lot of you guys are thinking like, hey, yo, man, that's not a corn snake. Yeah, I know it's not a corn snake. That's because it's a hog nose, but that I had to lie in this country. I got to lie in Spain. Um, he's got He's got infected glands. And I had to say he's a gutata, which is a corn snake. So I'm gonna show you guys what's going on with him. Uh, let me throw in some gloves. Uh, so I threw on some gloves. Whoa, that's aggressive. That is mean. He's a mean machine. Um, okay, so he's got infected glands and the glands are located, the musk glands are located in his cloaca. So I'm gonna have to do a check. He is not happy about that. He knows that I gotta invade his privacy. So first thing is first, guys. If you guys ever have an impacted glands, you you go through the questions, you go through the process. Okay, what's the process? You open it, you observe, and you have to have courtesy. You have to ask if he's okay. Are you okay, Doctor Sean? That's his name, Doctor Sean. Look at that. Are you okay, Doctor Sean? How are you doing? Are you responding? Are you responsive? Are you conscious? Are you okay? Okay, and then after uh, having courtesy, you gotta remove his habitat. I'm sorry. Ah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I gotta remove your, your home and invade your privacy. After you remove his only thing that gives him comfort, you gotta remove the substrate. Um, you have to keep it sanitized, hygiene. I'm going to throw out all the substrate. I'm going to uh, disinfect uh, and wash and, you know, clean out his uh, his uh, Tupper. Okay, I have removed his uh, Tupper. And this is a side note. Crema Oxidante. Oxidized cream. Uh, I prefer cream versus the spray on certain things, not all the things. So this is 6% hydrogen uh, peroxide uh, in, in lotion or in cream version. Okay, why? Because when I spray this thing, I don't want it getting in my eyes and everywhere. So I, I prefer uh, I prefer the cream. Everybody, uh, you guys can decide what you guys want. Uh, a lot of hairdressers and barbers and stuff like that use this uh, for hair. Um, so you can probably get on Amazon. If you want cream version of, of, the, of the hydrogen peroxide, you can actually pick it up. So what I do is I apply it to a, a towel and I just uh, clean everything. You see, cream, the paper towel, apply, and you just let it sit there for a few minutes. It's a six percent, so it should be good. You check for any bubbling, make sure everything's okay. Um, and that's what you see when you use cream. So you just make sure you you get it in all directions. Half a roll later, you got a clean bin. Okay, you got a clean bin. So after that, don't put any more substrate in. What do you do? Is this under or top? Okay, that was under. Okay. You make sure you put some new substrate, paper towels, papel higienico, okay? After that, you have to put his his favorite dish, tare, and make sure you put just the right amount of water. It's got to be it's got to be 38 grams because no more or no less. It's got to be exactly 38 grams of water. Uh, oh, okay. So that's going to be a little too much, but okay. It is what it is, guys. Uh, you put water in it, just H2O, nothing else. Okay, and then after that, the snake back in there. After that, you after you put the snake back in there, you ask him one more time, are you okay? And then the test. What is the test? Poke. Okay, he's okay. Right after you put the snake back in there, we're gonna have to sanitize 
wash uh wash his uh his infection here let me show you his infection i know this is kind of invasive i know i know chicoline boom right there the yeah it's inf so what happens in an infection is you have white blood cells that go off and fight the infection okay and usually what happens is the white blood cells will form an abscess um and uh the larger the abscess gets, the harder it is to remove it. Uh, fortunately uh, for me, this is really early on. Um, so maybe I can remove it by uh, soaking him in warm water and providing him antiseptic, uh, um, you know, ointment and liquids. And, and I don't think I can get rid of it without antibiotics. So I already made an, I, I already made an appointment for Thursday. Uh, we're in Monday right now, so we're a few days out before our appointment, and I'm going to do everything I can to just help it and uh, soak it every day, um, uh, clean out his, his infection, antiseptic. Uh, if I'm able to get out the abscess, then I'm going to rub some ointment on him, and we're, we're going to go on to the next step. All right, the next step is get informed. Watch some JMG Reptile YouTube. Hi, Jeff. Orally, uh, administer medication Thank to, you. Uh, Western hognose snake. This here is like a subadult female, and I just have a little cup of water uh, just to show as, as an example as how to um, or how I approach with giving a hognose medication or supplement. After you get informed and you watch a whole bunch of JMG stuff and videos, uh, time to go out there and collect the things that you need to um administer to your hog nose unfortunately here in spain i can't just go buy antibiotics for animals uh, i gotta go through a vet uh it's near impossible it's it's horrible the laws over here are horrible uh, it's not the land of the free if you're looking to live in spain with animals don't do it um so let's go get the stuff we need hopefully we can get this fixed before um before the appointment on thursday Okay, guys, so we're going to give them a soak. Uh, just make sure the, the water's not too hot. Use your, your temperature gauge. Obviously, 99.5 is way too hot. Um, I did go a little bit overboard. I'm just going to let it cool down until it gets to about 85 degrees, 85, 88. And then just go ahead and let him soak. And I'm going to put him in the rack so that way the water just, you know, doesn't cool. Because if you do it outside of your rack or without a heat source, then the water's just gonna get cool. So let's go ahead and wait for it to cool down and then we'll stick them in there. Once it hits around, you know, the 85-ish, 88 mark is good. And then for your iodine solution, you just wanna uh, throw it in there. And just make sure the water gets, you know, uh, to a, a kind of a murky color. Um, you, you don't want it too, too, too dark, but just uh, make sure it gets into a murky color. So let's go ahead and mix it. So that could use a little bit more. And it, it has a good cut like that. Yeah, it does have a little cut. So that's what we're trying to heal. It's got an infection. It has like a cut. And then for iodine solution, you just want the the water to get barely tinted uh, brown. Um, maybe that could use a little bit more. So let's just go ahead and put a couple. That'll be good. That'll be good right there. So yeah, that's perfect right there. So that's the coloration that you want. You just want that dark little, just barely tinted. It's getting pretty nasty. Look at all that tenderness. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and just uh, make sure that he's gonna feel a lot better after this. So uh, soak him for about 10, 15 minutes. I'm just letting the water cool down a little bit more. And then after that, I'm gonna try to express his uh, musk glands. Okay, chicos, the water's at 89. And he's sitting at about body temperature of 80, 85, 86. Um, so I do want it a little bit slightly warmer than him just because it's going to uh, make him move around a little bit. And it's really going to get, you know, him to to uh, grind the, the solution, antiseptic and stuff like that into his wound. So let's go ahead and put him in there. So obviously he's going to feel the temperature change a little bit. But it shouldn't be too bad. Okay, he's not doing too bad. Um, yeah, so he's gonna move around and it's just gonna get his wound to, uh, 
it's just gonna clean his wound. So I'm just gonna put this in here as well. It just in case he wants to rest his, his head on top and stuff like that. And yeah, so we'll just let him soak for a little bit and that's getting down to his wound. Okay, chicos, you guys know what's in the lunchbox. Sneaky, sneaky, Dr. Sean. I got him in the lunchbox and we're going to Nan Gladys, the vet. Hopefully everything's gonna be okay. Uh, the swelling did start to go down a little bit. Um, that's exotic vet. I had to lie and tell him it was a gutata, a corn snake. So let's see what they tell us. Right, so we're here at the vet. They're gonna pincharla. So they're gonna uh, give her an injection. See how things go. But it is, the swelling is going down a little bit. So it's going, it's going good. Hopefully things go better for us. Um, I'm hopeful, optimistic, and I think, I think we should be okay. <laughs> 